All right, friends, Coach Mike again in the Coach's Corner. Welcome. Do you need a commercial reel? Uh, now, hear me closely now. Not just a reel, but a commercial reel. Just going to be specific here. Okay, theatrical reel is something different. I'll cover that later. Right now, commercial. Okay, if you meet with an agent and they say, uh, you need a reel, right? Number one, they probably, sh and you don't have a reel. Number one, they probably should have noticed the absence of a link on your resume that links to your reel on LA Casting, Actors Access, or Casting Frontier. So maybe they just weren't paying attention or maybe what I believe is really doesn't matter if you don't have a commercial reel. Whoever started with a reel, I never had a, no one has a reel. When I started, I didn't have a reel. I hadn't done a commercial yet, but I had to do a commercial in order to start to begin uh, building a reel. And no one ever asked for a reel anyway. I never went to an audition where a reel was needed. Casting directors don't care. They still don't care. Okay, but let, don't let me get ahead of myself. Okay, agents have booked actors on commercials that just got off a Greyhound bus prior to the day they met with them. Okay, a reel is not important in TV commercials. Maybe a personality slate uh, you can go to the home page of my website, bottom at the left, uh, down at the left. I have to change it to it's a little old now. But that's a personality slate. It's about a minute, 15 seconds of um, kind of tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your favorite subject? That kind of thing. That's a reel, okay, for commercials. It's a personality slate. But if it's a reel of work you've done, right, then no. I, I mean, I... I just got off a of Greyhound, but I just moved to LA. I don't have a reel. Who had a reel before they had their first commercial? It doesn't make any sense. Oftentimes, what you're going to have to do is clarify. If you sit with an agent and they say, do you have a reel? Ask them, do you mean a, a personality slate? That like minute, minute and a half uh, kind of thing where it's like a little interview like they do on audition sometimes. If they say, no, a reel showing the different commercials you've done. See, they're really not interested. They're not interested in you because it doesn't matter what commercials you've done in the past. I mean, it never mattered for anyone. All that matters, again, are skills. No casting director says, uh, must have a reel. We're, we're, we're casting AT&T. All actors must submit their reel. It, it doesn't work that way. It, it just doesn't. So when the agent says you need a reel, uh, sounds like they're asking you to have some experience. Again, I covered that already. Experience versus skills. You can look in my uh, video blog uh, uh, lineup, right? No, it doesn't matter if I have experience. Uh, training, okay, but then there are some actors, it's rare, there are some actors that don't study at all. And they go and they just happen to do everything just fine. So they take no classes. They got this look, that look. And, and the agent says, I like you, something about you. You remind me of my uh, son, daughter, uh, niece, nephew, who knows? An actor that used to work all the time and we lost him because they now book films. Who knows, right? So you may want to clarify with the agent. Are you saying you want a personality slate or an actual reel? No, I don't have a reel of commercials I've done. I've never done anything. I'm just starting right? If that's your case. Besides, see, here's the crazy part with that. Let's say you have a reel and you put it up on LA Casting, Actors Access, Casting Frontier. Now, hear, hear me well on this now. Here's what happens sometimes. It can be dangerous to post multiple commercials in a reel that you've done. I know you think it's great because it presupposes that, oh, see, I, I proved that I can book. Well, listen, that's not the, what proves that you can book are when you have skills, right? But when you post your reel up, here's what could possibly happen. When you get a callback, sometimes the producers, they'll go into their Mac at the callback. And just before you come in the room or after you leave, right, they'll go to your LA casting account. They'll look it up, right? And sometimes they'll IMDB you and they'll look. And if you got a reel posted there, if you got a callback for Coke, and you have Pepsi, a Pepsi commercial on your reel. You got a call back for McDonald's. You have Burger King on your reel. Producers are so territory, territorial. I'm telling you, man, they can all, sometimes it happens when they say, I don't like him. I don't like her. Why? Why? Because they have McDonald's on their reel. Because they have Coke on their reel. Because they have Pepsi. Because they have Burger King. 
This is a Del Taco callback. They have Taco Bell. Yes, they are that territorial. Just like you don't want to date your best friend's ex. It's the same idea. Well, what's wrong with that? You're not with him anymore. It's the same kind of idea, right? Bottom line is it can get you in trouble when you have a real post. I know your friends are going to tell you something different. They're going to say, oh, the Mike Pointer guy doesn't know what he's talking about, right? Oh, man, I know. I eat, sleep, and breathe on knowing what I'm talking about. I make a living knowing what I'm talking about. I'm not saying this can happen in every situation, but every job matters, doesn't it? If you're up for an AT&T, don't you want it? So why would you have Verizon on your reel and you're going to AT&T callback, right? No, you don't want to put, I collect your reel, get as many uh, of your commercials that you've done on planet earth, get them all. Use it as a promo piece, probably for something else, something you want to present yourself, trying to go for this kind of job or that kind of job. I don't know. Maybe when it's a theatrical agent, then you, do you have any experience? Do you have a reel? No, well, I have a commercial reel. Here it is on a disc, right? Or I, I can have it linked somewhere where you can see it, right? Maybe it'll matter then with a theatrical agent, but a commercial agent, no. So stay in this business long enough. And you'll say, man, that Mike Pointer guy sure knows what he's talking about. Why? Because I've been doing this just knocking on 30 years. Okay, so that's how I know what I'm talking about. Because it, it's just critical that you learn as much as you can in rapid fashion. So you can remove this learning curve, the time that it takes to learn. They say smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So listen to the wisdom here. Really, really important, okay? So again, if an agent says, asks you in a meeting, do you have a reel, either that agent is, uh, maybe the terms are mixed up. Maybe they're asking you something else. I don't know, you need to clarify with them. Are you asking me, do I have a, uh, a reel with commercials I've done on them? Yes, okay, then no, they're really not interested then. Because even when they, when they scheduled the meeting with you, they would have said, bring your reel. Oh, I don't have a reel. Oh, then we have to cancel the meeting then right? Why? Because I only take on actors that have booked commercials in the past. Oh, okay. Well, we're on the same page then. But you call me in and then like almost ambush me with this question. Do you have a reel? If you're talking about a personality slate, okay, I can go tape one of those. I mean, I filmed them here myself in the studio. But if you're asking me for work booked already, five, six nationals you want to see on a reel. No, I don't have that. And I know for sure you don't need it. And anyone that's ever done commercials in the history of adver commercial advertising has never needed a reel either, right? No one start, no one was born with commercials they had booked already. It just doesn't make sense. What the agent is doing is trying to possibly express something else to you. You read for them, your skill level isn't up to par, you need to jump in a course, right? Or your personality is not up to par. Some people are very well skilled in their profession, but the personality, just it's just not attractive. So, and, and as I say, actors work on everything. They take all these classes, right? And fail to work on their personality as if you don't have to be likable. You gotta be likable, all right? So, do you need a real? No, if you have an agent that's really interested in you, but if they're really interested in you, they probably won't even ask you that question. All right, keep learning. Stay with me. Coach Mike here in the Coach's Corner. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.